Super 7 weather is presented by Panhandle Cleaning and Restoration. Active weather continuing to fire up across the Ohio River Valley. Plenty of polygons, but sub severe at least at this point in time. But that severe thunderstorm watch still encompassing Marshall, Tyler, Wetzel, Monroe and Noble County. Thanks to a cold front that's continuing to barrel its way through West Virginia. More so in the way of widespread severe weather down closer to Charleston and central West Virginia. Time lapse though features the leading edge of thunderstorm activity making its approach in through Noble, Monroe, Tyler and Wetzel County. Even the central extent and the southern extent of Marshall County or at least the leading edge is relatively close. Couple of clusters of thunderstorms I do want to point out that I am keeping a close watchful eye on is what's going on just into Noble County at this point in time as well as this this cluster down in through Tyler County. This leading edge certainly packing a punch, damaging winds, the potential for hail formation and strong downpours that could lead to some ponded roadways not out of the realm of possibility in through Sistersville. I more so will zoom into that, but moving forward, even this cell packing a little bit of a punch just to the south and east of hundred in through Wetzel County. So more so zooming into this cell over towards Noble County. Notice this leading edge moving through Bell Valley, Caldwell, Ashton, just through the I-77 quarter. I do expect that moving into Summerfield, up into Batesville and just to the west of Woodsfield over the next half hour or so. And again, rounds of rain, heavy downpours at times, damaging wind gusts not out of the realm of possibility. Measured wind speeds have been upwards of 40 miles per hour. Now just continuing on through Tyler and Wetzel County, keeping an eye on what's going on into Middleburn, just south of Sistersville and through Tyler County. And then this cell up into areas of eastern Wetzel County, just to the south of 100. But I do expect there to be a little bit of a light show on going through portions of Tyler and Wetzel County as we continue on through your Thursday evening. And the bulk of this activity stems from high heat and plenty of moisture to tap into dew point temperatures sitting in the middle 60s. We actually were as high as 70. So that's essentially a tropical air mass overhead the Ohio River Valley, and we are still reporting sun filled skies, at least here in Wheeling. So these storms are likely to sustain themselves due to a very active uh, environment here just overhead our region. So those showers will continue a long lived approach possibly extending on into southwestern Pennsylvania. Here's how predictor plays this out. Notice the leading edge continuing to move through Wetzel County, likely clipping the central and southern extent of Marshall County, and then the bulk of the rainfall continuing on in through southwestern Pennsylvania as we approach midnight. But we're not going to be done with rainfall in through early Friday morning. A few showers could start to fire up as we head to the I-77 corridor. Bulk of the rainfall is expected to wrap up closer to lunchtime, but still a lingering shower or two down into Tyler and Wetzel, not out of the realm of possibility. Once we see a bit more in the way of sunshine tomorrow afternoon, the ingredients are there for some pop up showers, even an isolated rumble of thunder, a standard for our summertime, not out of the realm of possibility for the Ohio River Valley. Temperatures in through your weekend, mid to upper 80s. Chances for rainfall Saturday night into early Sunday morning. Neither day a washout. You will have an opportunity to cut the grass Saturday morning, even Sunday afternoon, even all of Monday morning trending dry. But chances for rainfall back in the forecast Monday and Tuesday.